So hi dear Taurus, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general love reading for all the Taurus and Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general, it might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 4 till the 10th of November and it's valid for every 12th sign that you're dealing with along with your own sign. If it is not resonating, it's not your story, you can just skip the video. Now, if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self-healing journey with Hope Ono Pono but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. Again, the link is in the description box for the same and it has the power to change your life for the rest of your life. Trust me on that. I'm doing it from a very, very long time now. And if you want to one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Taurus, your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment are, let's see. Temperance, okay, so this person is being very, very patient with you, with the whole situation, with this dynamics between you and them. This person is trying their best not to lose their temper, not to lose their mind. They are trying their best uh, that they should practice patience and not to do anything stupid in this direction. Wow. Let me clarify the temperance here as their feelings for you. We have the Ace of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Five of Swords. They feel like having some kind of clarity about you. Like, are you married? Are you committed? Are you with somebody else? Are you single? But they're patiently waiting for the time when they will be able to do that with the, uh, like, uh, like this person and you having are having some kind of conflicts, some kind of issues, some kind of drama going on between you, uh, you and them. Maybe... A cold war is going on between you and them. And that is why this person is not, a, not able to understand what you are up to these days. So they basically feel like poking their nose in your business. But their ego is kind of telling them not to tell you, not to ask you directly. Okay, so they are patiently waiting for the time when they will be able to get every possible information about you. And then they feel like they should do something about this situation in this direction. Very tricky, very manipulative. But still trying to be patient with the whole situation, okay? Let's see, what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side, Taurus? What is happening? Ace of Swords, you are being very practical, very logical and you have, uh, you got the mental clarity. Right now, you are not very emotional. Right now, you are being very practical, very logical, very rational. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords as your feelings for this particular person or situation. We have the two of pentacles, the six of cups and strength card. Okay, you got the clarity about a past situation and you are holding on to this energy of being very, very courageous and being in your strength, standing in your power that you should not do anything about this situation anymore. It's like you were going back and forth about a past situation, about a past connection, about a soul connection basically. Now you got the clarity what you should do in this direction. Although I don't see you taking any kind of action, but you know what you have to do and when you have to do it. So right now you are being very, very courageous and using all of your power and strength to not to do anything in this direction until unless you feel like you should. That is the clarity that you are getting. Let's see what this person wants from you, Taurus. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them? Wheel of Fortune, they are waiting for the right time. This person is waiting for the time when the wheel is going to turn in their favor, when the tables are going to turn, energies are going to flip. Basically, they are waiting for the right time. Okay, let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. But this person is very egoistic, very, very egoistic. Yeah, they are waiting for the right time when they will be able to come forward towards you and they will be able to offer you something uh, beautiful again. It's like something emotional. So basically, they are waiting for the time when they will be able to connect with you again emotionally. So that they can offer you some kind of brand new beginning in your love and relationship area. So somebody from your past is waiting for the right time to reconnect with you. So it, this is someone who is being very, very patient. According to them, even if it is going to take them one year, even if it is going to take them two years or ten years, they are being patient. But they know someday they will be able to reconnect with you again on an emotional level. They are quite sure about it. 
that even if it is finished this is not finished completely wow let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side taurus six of pentacles you want equal give and take of energy you want something uh, something or someone with whom you can share your life with equal give and take of effort kind of energy okay let's clarify the six of pentacles as your uh, intentions we have the seven of wands the ace of wands the five of wands yeah you don't want any kind of drama right now in your life so if somebody is coming forward towards you with a lot of passion with a lot of fire but it is nothing but drama you are going to block that person straight away because all you want is have a balanced kind of energy balanced kind of relationship where both the partners are invested equally and having equal uh, energy towards each other you don't uh, you don't want to basically operate on passion you want to operate on love with love basically and even if something or someone is too too much attractive or too much passionate about you you don't want it because you don't want any kind of drama in your life whatsoever typical taurus <laughs> peace over drama <coughs> Let's see what's coming towards you till the 14th of, 10th of November, sorry. Let's see what's coming towards you till the 10th of November, Taurus. What could be the possible outcome of the situation? Nine of Wands. I do see your guards being very high. You are not opening up. You are like, okay, I just have to keep my guards as high as possible because I don't want to get hurt again. It's like you're like a wounded warrior who is not ready to let anybody come near them okay let's clarify the nine of wands we have the devil the king of swords the high priestess oh my god somebody is trying to uh, put a spell on you or something you will get to know about somebody trying to create blockages in your on your path and uh, once you are going to like understand that you are going to be on high alert within your uh, your own energies and you will be in this energy of trying to protect yourself from being hurt, being used or abused again, like uh, with somebody from your past. Wow. So basically, somebody from your past is trying to put obstacles and challenges on your path. For some of you, it's like a, a black magic kind of a spell work kind of a deal that they're trying to uh, like send on your way so that uh, they can block your way, on, especially in your love and relationship area, so that you can never be happy in this lifetime. Maybe you rejected somebody. Or maybe you are not allowing somebody to come come back to uh, your life and it's kind of hurting them to the level of try, them trying to put some kind of uh, spell work on your way. I pity on these kind of uh, people because they think by doing all this they are uh, like doing the right thing. And they, they have the valid points like according to them they are doing the justice with the other people here. Even if Taurus, Taurus did the worst with you I'm telling you if you're a cross watcher. And you are doing this shit with them. Let me tell you, the karma is going to hit you, not them. Because they are anyway like going to uh, suffer from whatever they did. But this is not the answer. So somebody is trying to put spell works on you, Taurus. For some of you, spell work, energy work, black magic, whatever you call it. Others of you having this intention of blocking your path as badly as possible. So that you, you, should, you are not going to move. Uh, to anybody else or anything else in your love and relationship area basically wow this is very hurtful and painful but somebody from your past is trying to block your ways big 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 time with spell work with black magic or bad intentions plain simple bad, bad intentions black magic spell work is nothing but bad intentions with some kind of rituals so that the work is done. Basically, it's manifestation. It's negative manifestation towards other energy here. Black magic is nothing more than that. But if you are protected, if you are vibrating on high vibrations, nobody can do anything. Trust me. I myself have uh, uh, like uh, experienced this a lot. So whatever I don't have experienced in our life, I never preach that or I never say that or I never teach that. If I haven't experienced anything in my life, myself i never say anybody else to do that that is my like lifestyle you can say that is my uh, my way of working so i know black magic exists i know bad intentions exist if positive exists negative also exists but black magic is nothing or spell work is nothing 
more than bad intentions sent to you with a bad in a bad energy bad kind of vibes and you can uh, protect yourself uh, from these kind of energies by being on the positive sides of life and being on the high vibrations instead of trying to send them back send the negative energy black magic back to anybody try to transmute that into a uh, loving and caring and nurturing energy and then send it back to the sender if you want to otherwise just send it to the universe anyways right hmm. i don't know what is happening if i am uh, turning on the ac i'm feeling cool if i'm turning off the ac i'm feeling um something different not cool and like fan thing is irritating me i don't know what is happening with me so those days where you are you can't uh, switch on the fan you can't switch off the fan and uh, now you guys are going to be like okay you can uh, um when is the temperature this that i am not able to find the right temperature for myself from a very very long time god okay so the guidance here is the king of swords the knight of pentacles three of cups right still clear of any kind of drama in your life so the delays or obstacles or challenges whatever you are facing especially in your love and relationship area it's kind of temporary but trust me taurus it's going to take time for you to sort this area of your life it's going to take you time slow and steady is going to win the race and keep yourself in high vibrations as much as you can from your side taurus because once you are going to go on the low, low vibrational kind of energy you are going to get psychic attacks or something that is not good for your energies we are talking about energies only not uh, like somebody personally attacking you or somebody trying to make you like die or something no it's like uh, again i'm telling you if you are protected if you're on high vibrations if you are uh, high on life nobody can do anything wrong with you it's all about uh, the mindset the energies that we vibrate on hmm? but as of now try to protect yourself and your energies as much as you can and uh, stay not not don't focus that much on love and relationship area right now maybe for a week or 10 days or something then afterwards you might right for the time being just protect your own energies be on the high vibrations okay and so you know, like uh, keep on chanting hope on upon even if you don't believe it you don't have to even believe hope on upon it just works so keep on chanting i'm sorry please forgive me thank you i love you without any intentions right now and the universe will do its job so yeah thank you so much for tuning in taurus i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste